Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your daily read. This will be for Saturday, August 27th, 2022, or whenever you come across it. Uh, so shout out to everybody. And um, no, I'm telling you, I'm guided to take these tonight. I don't know. They're so big, I don't think you guys get to see them. All right, so listen, this is very important. Always remember, I will never reach out to you, nor will I have anybody I know reach out to you. So if anybody contacts you under any circumstances, it's... The gazy poser is trying to take your money. So please be careful and mindful of that. Uh, if you need me for anything, a reading, uh, donation, or if you just need somebody to talk to, my information is in the box below, and it's up to you to reach out to me. Uh, what else is there? Um, so if you'd like to subscribe, I would love to have you. And if you can, hit the like button. If you can't find it in your heart to hit the like button, people, hit the dislike button. But hit a button and get your energy out there because, you know, the energy is dense, and there are a lot of you out there in these collective readings. So don't be a gavone, all right? Um, I encourage you to take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. That's if something resonates with you. Don't make something resonate that doesn't resonate, okay? Time is linear. These readings are timeless. When you come across it is when you're meant to see it. Also, uh, we are gender neutral here. I may say he or she, depending on the card that comes out, but you could be in your masculine or your feminine at any time. So please apply the energy to your situation. Also, uh, we're in your face on this video, right? We're from Brooklyn, New York. We're Italian. We're in your face. So you'll always see me shuffle and you'll always see the cards pop out. So, you know, you know, we're on the level. All right. So we're going to go from Pisces to Aries tonight because I think we went the other way yesterday. So here we go. It's with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of all signs for Saturday, August 27, 2022, or whenever they can cross it. So one big shout out to everybody. In case nobody told you today, I love you, and I hope everything's well. Here we go with Pisces. Pisces. Show me what Pisces needs to see, please, and thank you. Cards for Pisces. Okay, let's have it. Well, something's moving very... Oh, okay. Eight of Cups. So, you, you know, you're detaching from a situation here, okay? And you're doing it quickly. So now this chariot, you know, this is... Um, yeah, this is a Cancer card. But, um, wow, you, yeah, you're moving fast out of some situation, Pisces. Good for you. Probably not for your higher good, right? Now, you have a choice. You have a choice that you're making. Well, obviously, right? You're choosing to detach. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. Let's see. What else for Pisces? Please and thank you. Okay. Well, we just woke Delilah up. Now, you're going to persevere through something. You have the Magician card here. This is a Gemini energy. Okay. This is uh, manifesting, having everything you need at the tip of your fingers to make life whatever you want to make it. Okay. And, uh, so you got, you got two Gemini energies here, okay? Now you have the High Priestess. This is intuition. This is knowing, you know, she, she is the keeper of the veil. So she knows everything she needs to know. But most importantly, it's using your intuition. So you're going to be using your intuition on something here. Good for you. Prince of Swords. Okay, so this Prince, this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody that's using their head. You know, it's the prince, so he's, you know, a younger energy, but he's organized, um, you know, he thinks about what he's doing. A lot of times when he thinks about what he's doing, it involves what's best for him, but uh, this could be somebody coming at you. Let's see, what else we have? Pisces. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius on that one. The moon, another cancer energy. So this is things that you don't know, secrets being kept. You know, maybe somebody lying to you, maybe not somebody not divulging all the information. So be careful that it's not this Prince of Swords that might be coming at you, male or female, because it's coming in right next to that. So maybe they're not going to tell you everything, you know, everything. Well, maybe not right, right away, but who knows. But there will be, you know, but somebody's, you know, blowing smoke up your ass is what I'm hearing. Sorry, guys. Somebody's blowing smoke up your ass. Uh, what else is new, right? Now you got judgment. So that's a breakthrough, but there will be a breakthrough in the situation. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, we don't need all those. See, my ancestors and spirit guides are like comedians. Bunch of comedians I'm dealing with. Uh, 
I have to can't laugh, right? You should be able to laugh at everything. I laugh at everything. Okay, come on. Give me the cards here. Thank you. The tower. You got a tower coming in. Maybe that's the breakthrough. Because it's coming up with the breakthrough card, uh, you know, it could be a good tower. But this is spirit coming in to give you a kick in the ass. It's a shock. It's a surprise. So, you know, some surprises are good, Pisces. That's all I'm going to say. It's a breakthrough. It's a, this shock is a breakthrough. Whatever the shock's going to be, it's a breakthrough. You got the six of cups. This is cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is nostalgic. Don't be nostalgic. If this breakthrough has something to do with you being nostalgic, yeah. Enjoy the breakthrough. Kick the nostalgia to the curb. Three of Pentacles. Okay, now this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. This is apprenticeship. So you're going to be learning how to do something new. So you're going to be detaching from something very quickly. You have a choice that you're going to have to make. But you will persevere. You can manifest anything you want. The magician and the high priestess are together. So not only are you manifesting, but you're using your intuition to do it. You got this Prince of Swords character. You know, this is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know, this is a thinker. This is an action person. Um, you know, this is a brave person, a uh, straightforward person, but he could be keeping secrets from you. You got a breakthrough, a shock and a surprise. You're going to be a little nostalgic, but you're going to be learning how to do something new. So that that's a really good reading, Pisces. I'm glad for you. Okay. Thank you so much. Until tomorrow. And let your fingers do the walk and it's a snap. Delilah, what are you scratching? Oh, Delilah forgot to say hi to everybody today, right? She's our little spirit guide and mascot. Okay, next up is Aquarius. What are you choking up on? Furball? Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Please show me Aquarius. Please and thank you. What's Aquarius need to see today for their higher good? One. Two. And three. Show me Aquarius, please and thank you. Give me Aquarius. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. So, you're going to be holding on tightly to something. you got the Four of Pentacles here. This is holding back. This is, you know, maybe not spending as much money as you need to or holding on to a situation very tightly. you got this Princess of Wands. This is the Princess of Fire. This is, you know, <laughs> this could be a younger person, a charming person. She could be, you know, she could be a thought. That's what I'm here. <laughs> what? She could be a thought. I don't, wow. Sorry. Well, okay. Well, it is what it is. This is what I'm hearing. But this could, you know, she could, have, you know, yeah, she could, she could be a player, male or female. Um, you also got the Empress. This is a Taurus energy. This is fully abundant. This is the ruler of the world, not just an empire. She's all four queens in one, right? She's beautiful. She's got everything she needs, male or female. Now you got this King of Cups energy. This King of Cups, what do I call him? The daddy, right? This is water energy. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This is fair, balanced, you know, uh, someone who's very um, stable, loving, could be someone that's also very needy, so you're going to have to be careful of that. Do not be in denial for this, okay? Three of Wands. This is going to put you at crossroads. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so now you got the devil. Well, you know what? I'd rather deal with him than the Three of Swords. But this is toxic, period. Any toxicity that you may be doing, sex, drugs, rock and roll, oversleeping, overeating, overwatching TV, even gossiping about somebody, or likewise, it could be toxic people around you. See in this card, these people, so there's more than two people. So what I'm saying to you is, um, yeah, if there's any toxic people around you, kick them to the curb. This is now a Capricorn energy. Then you got the Seven of Swords. This is some kind of dishonesty, all right? This is, you know, quarreling, um, just, yeah, so be careful with that. From somebody who wants to push your buttons, I'm here. Push your buttons. Here we go. You got the five of pentacles. So there's going to be some loss and hardship somewhere down the... Maybe these people that you got to kick to the curb. Oh, well. Do what you got to do, Aquarius, right? <clears throat> five. <I can't. laughs> well, you know, I do come from Brooklyn. What do you want me to tell you? <clears throat> All right. Now you got the three of swords. Oh, my own me. What did I just tell you about this card? All right, so this is the worst card in the deck as far as I'm concerned, right? This is emotional pain, right? I'd rather fight with people physically than be in emotional pain. This is a third-party situation, okay? Now, it's coming in, you know, this King of Cups with toxicity and this third-party situation. If this is not somebody you know already, then, and you know, you're going to have to kick them to the curb. Be careful that they're not, you know, playing, 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 period. That's what I'm hearing. You know, there could be another person involved there. Show me. Oh, boy. I mean, I can't take all those. That's just crazy. Okay, four of wands is stability. 
Five of Cups in reverse is, you know, you're not going to be feeling sad and like you lost something. Uh, you know, Five of Cups in reverse is, it could also be some kind of family returning to you. All right, we're not going to take all these, but that's just too crazy. But everybody's still in the upright, so, all right. So here we go. You're going to be holding on to something tightly, hopefully not with this thought. Then you got this Empress energy. This is Taurus. This is, you know, a fully abundant confident, well-established person. She's the king, the ruler of the world, right? She's the emperor's counterpart. Then you got this king of cup. You know, he's the daddy. You know, he's he's definitely um, warm, loving, balanced, fair, but could be a little, you know, needy. Then you got this two of swords, don't be in denial. You, you know, three of wands is definitely being at crossroads, but I hope you're not at crossroads over this toxicity. This is now Capricorn energy. Any toxicity, toxic people kick their ass to the curb, I'm hearing, because there is dishonesty involved with this. They came out together. You got this five of pentacles, which is loss and hardship. And then you got this phenomenal three of swords card that I can't stand, which is some kind of emotional pain. Hopefully not about a third party situation. You will, you got this four of wands, which is stability. This is an Aries card. And the five of cups in reverse is that, you know, you're not going to be feeling lost and sad anymore. You, and some of you, maybe if you're arguing with your family, you're going to make up. So there you go, Aquarius. Thank you so much. Till next time, which is tomorrow. Have a great, great rest of your day. <clears throat> All right, next up is Capricorn. Clearing ground, please. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Here we go. Hold on. One. Got to do the whole trifecta, right? I, I explained this to you already, guys, right? Why everybody has to shuffle three times? A lot of people don't know that. Three. Show me what Capricorn needs to see for the higher good way. I gotta fix this chair. I'm definitely gonna wind up on my ass on this chair. It's like rocking back and forth over here. Trying to get a different chair. Show me. Okay, so now we have. Ooh, Capricorn, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Yeah, baby. Now you got this Four of Cups. This is nostalgic and stagnancy. What do I tell you about this cup all the time? You know, don't be sitting this stagnant because. Wow. Look at this, Capricorn. This is great. Stagnancy equals stink. Now you've got the world. This is, you know, complete success. It's the end of the major arcana. So the world is turning in your favor, but, you know, you can't be, you can't be stagnant. It's, <laughs> oh, boy, you're moving fast. you got to move fast in this situation. Because why? The world is right there. The world is yours, I'm hearing. The world is yours. Seven of Pentacles. You're going to be investing effort. Ooh, but you're going to have to temper your emotions, right? This is such a, this is biting your tongue, turning your cheek, you know, not indulging in low vibrating frequencies, I'm hearing. Let them argue with themselves. People coming in to push your button, let them push their own. Now you got a nine of cups. So this is success. This is complete success. So here you got the wheel of fortune, success, success. Don't be stagnant, investing effort, just temper your emotions. You got Sagittarius. Uh, wow, I can't believe this. This is a great thing. This is a great thing. The wheel of fortune is uh, Sagittarius too, by the way. So... This is two Sagittarius cards coming in. So, you know what, Capricorn? There could be a Sagittarius around you. Or something. you have Sagittarius in your chart, maybe. I don't know. But it's heavy on the Sag today. Let's see what else. Give me some more. Give me some more for Capricorn for their higher good. This is an excellent reading. Whoever is resonating with this, God bless you. Ace of Wands. So now there's success and passion. Well, you know, that's another success card. That's a sex... Oh, success, success, success. Can you say that fast three times? Because I sure as hell can't. Here we go. One more. Oh, that's what you need. Just give me another one. Let's see. What else? I'm excited for this reading. Okay. You got the six of cups. So, again, with the nostalgic. Nostalgic and nostalgic. It's the same. Like just, yeah, don't. Listen. It's all right to think back on your past. It really is. But when people do that, they tend to remember, like, the good in it. And so if it's about a person or something, you, you tend to forget. Okay, yeah, I hear you. The analogy that my spirit guides are giving me is when you have a baby. The pain of having the baby while you're in the middle of childbirth is horrible. But after the baby's here and you think back at it, you forget about that pain, right? And then hence get knocked up again. What? <laughs> okay. So that's what I got to tell you about this. Do not, um, for one minute, like, when you're thinking back, think, you know, everything was so peachy back there. Because remember the bad, too. Uh, I don't know. Somebody had to hear that. Here you go. Show me. I need four more for Capricorn. Give me. 
please and thank you. Come on, spit them out, ancestors. Let's get this going. Everybody's got places to go, things to do, and people to see, right? Right. Yeah. Give me. Oh. All right, well, that's something, right? Let's see. Here we got the Six of Wands. So this is, you know, victory in public recognition. Good for you. The Hierophant. Okay, so the Hierophant, you know, this Hierophant is somebody who's uh, very traditional. It could be a judge. It could be a lawyer. It could be a pope. It could be religion. It could be marriage. Um, you know, institutional lies. You know what I'm saying? So and what, in this picture, this, this guy sees everything. He sees it all. All right, so... You know, I'm not going to say somebody could be watching you, but that's the feeling I get with this depiction. Uh, so, and there could be any legal matters, any, you know, just make sure you're crossing your T's and dotting your I, yeah, Capricorn? Now you got the Empress. Okay, this is a Taurus energy. So again, she's the ruler of the world. She's abundant. She's beautiful. She's got all her shit in order and everybody in the kingdom is very happy. Well, it's not a kingdom. It's the world, right? She's not just ruling a kingdom. She's ruling the entire world. But, you know, this is now a Taurus energy. What else do we have? What else? One more, please. Wow, this is a good reading, too. Okay, Prince of Pentacles. So this prince, you know, he's... This is the most reliable, like, prince in the bunch. This guy actually wants to learn how to be the king. So he could be on his way to financial stability. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in the mix or somebody that has that in their chart. But, uh, you know, this is reliable, responsible, loyal, you know, grounded, okay? So you got the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. Just get out of that nostalgic. The world, complete success in a situation that you're going to be working hard at. Just temper your emotions. You will be successful. Ace of Wands is success. Again, with the nostalgia. Might own a me. Could you get rid of it? Six of Wands. Who needs it? I mean, really. You know, victory in public recognition. Um, you know, and there could be, you know, any kind of traditional legal matters or anything like that. Um, there is an empress involved. It could be male or female. Let's get that straight. And a prince of pentacles, which is, you know, yeah, somebody learning how to become the king of pentacles. Here we go. All right, Capricorn, let's see. Now we're up to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, don't forget, guys, let your fingers do the walking into snap. If you cannot hit the like, you know, it's a nice way to reciprocate, then please hit the dislike. But get a, get you know get your energy out there. I encourage everybody to get their energy out there. That's why I say you can hit the dislike with me. I don't care anyway. But, you know, it's a good thing to do. Besides, we all weren't raised in caves, right? You know, you know the word polite? It's nice to be polite, right? Sagittarius. Show me Sagittarius. Mink. Sag. Oh, my God. Okay. Five of cups. So, lost in sadness. Somebody's feeling lost in sadness right now. And nostalgic. Mink. Boston Sadness and Nostalgic. This is no way to start a, a reading Sagittarius. Come on now, snap out of it. You got the Ace of Wands. Success and passion, though. Show me. Mink, what a way to start a reading. Snap out of it, I gotta tell you again. Who's ever feeling more than Sadness? Probably because you're sitting being nostalgic. Okay, you got the Princess of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. This princess is stubborn, responsible, loyal. You know, she's confident. She's, you know, she, somebody's coming in to offer you maybe a job or a new way to make money. It's solid. It's trustworthy. What do you got? What do you got for Sag? Show me Sag, please and thank you. Now you have the Queen of Cups. Well, this is the mom of the bunch, right? She is, you know, honest, warm, devoted, supportive. She's fair, balanced, you know, very warm energy. So this is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And then you got the Ace of Pentacles. There is a new beginning. There is a new beginning. And it's going to bring you success and passion. Look at this. Look at this. That's it. Well, when I was starting to get a little better, Sag, I'm happy for you. Mink. Mink yachts, how we say over here, right? What the hell? Okay, here you go. Eight of Wands, fast forward movement. So it could be, you know, moving. And this guy looks like he's catapulting out of a situation. So you could be moving quickly out of a situation. You could be moving quickly into a new situation. You could be getting some, you know, fast information, text, phone calls, whatever. But Eight of Wands, you know, it's fast forward movement. Now you got this Prince of Wands. This is the fire prince. This is the player from Malaya, okay? This guy, you know, he's in for a good time. It's a very fast-moving energy coming in. Yeah, this, yeah, well, that makes sense. It is a very fast-moving energy. This guy, you know, yeah, he's already got his shoes under somebody else's bed before he even takes his feet off yours, so there's that. And uh, now you got this princess of cups, so this is a warm, big sister kind of energy. This is, you know, um, somebody who's trustworthy and somebody who's... Um, you know, she's got a good demeanor and she's warm, but, uh, 
Yeah. Just be careful. For, you know, and they get the queen and the... So this could be somebody that has both water and... Uh, oh, look at this, Sagittarius. Now you got the star. This is an Aquarius energy. This is brilliance, beauty, prosperity. This is illumination. This is also vulnerability because this person's running around stock-ass naked. You know, and that's a vulnerable position to be in. So, yeah. Here we go. Two more for Sag. Please and thank you. Are the magic words. I'm going to be uploading the weeklies. And I don't even know if I should do monthly since I do weeklies. But if any of you have anything to say about that, you can hit, hit me up in the comments. I mean, a lot, like a lot of the tarot readers do monthlies. And I just like to stay like, I'm very much about staying present in the time that you're in. So I think I'm just going to stick with weeklies. But if you guys want monthlies, please let me know. You got the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. Yeah. So this is your energy, Sagittarius. Jupiter energy. Okay. One more is the Eight of Cups. You will be detaching from the situation. So here over here, Mocus Marcus, right? All kinds of nostalgics, loss and sadness. But you do have to say some wants, success, and passion. You got, you know, the Princess of Pentacles. Somebody could be coming in to offer you a job. She's pretty solid. You know, if somebody's coming in, it's a solid, trustworthy offer. Queen of Cups, loving mom type person, right? Very um, trustworthy, very devoted, honest, warm. Ace of Pentacles, you have a new beginning. You're going to be moving quickly out of a situation or into a new situation. There's fast forward movement in some area of your life. It could be with this fast moving prince, okay? This is, you know, player archetype over here. Now you've got this Princess of Cups. This is water energy. This is like the warm big sister, you know, Good demeanor type person. And then you've got this Aquarius energy. This is the star. Illumination. Brilliance. So whatever you're being illuminated, you know, you, you have the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. So again, your energy, Sagittarius. And you're going to be detaching from something. So thank you so much for that. Next up will be Scorpio. <clears throat> Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Right, Delilah? Dilly, dilly. Hi, dilly, dilly. Clearing ground, please, and thank you. Clear. Ground. Thank you. Man, I gotta always get so swift to find. Okay. Thank you. There it is. Two. And holy trifecta number three. Okay. Here we go. Scorpio. Give it to me for Scorpio. Show me what Scorpio needs to see. Show me what I got. What's going on over here? Show me. Give it to me. Okay, three of wands. It's coming in sideways. So that means like you're on a fence. That means you're not, you know, when it comes in sideways, you're on the fence. You're not exactly at crossroads or you're not, not at crossroads. You don't know what the hell you're doing over here, Scorpio, do you? All right, well, that's okay. You're in the process of a transition here. That's what I'm hearing, the process of a transition. So that's good. Prince of Cups. There could be, a, you know... All right, Scorpio, this could be you, male or female, Prince of Cups. This prince is, you know, he's like the big brother. He's warm, he's adventurous, he's friendly, he's devoted, he's trustworthy, you know, pretty honest and a good demeanor. And you got the world. There will be success in a situation. Okay. Get off the fence. Get off the fence, I'm hearing. Okay, now you got the four swords and it came in sideways too. Being on this fence is putting you in fear and anxiety, Okay. Here you are. You're in fear and anxiety. You know, maybe in sol solitude, not knowing, you know. Get step out of it, Scorpio, yeah? Yeah. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We have the Seven of Swords because there could be dishonesty around you. And there could be a Gemini around you. Uh, but you have everything you need to manifest. Six of Wands. See, manifestation will be victorious. Public recognition, I'm not saying you're going to be on the front of the times, but you know what? People will be looking at you like you victoriously overcame a situation that you were working hard at with this Eight of Pentacles. Now you got this Prince of Swords. This Prince of Swords is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a player type two. This is a fast-moving energy. This is somebody who's thinking, but usually thinking about themselves. So you could have a Gemini, uh, Gemini, Tor uh, listen to me. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius around you. Um, it doesn't have to be their sign. It could just be in their chart. This could involve legalities. This could involve a marriage. This could involve anything traditional. Church, uh, you know, yeah. So there's that. And we need two more, please, and thank you. That's some kind of spread. That's a new kind of spread. It may be all invented, right? Crazy-ass spread. Because look at this. Yeah, well, let me just look at this a minute, Scorpio. So you got this, you don't know whether, you, you know, you're kind of at crossroads, you're kind of not. You know there's dishonesty around you, right? And you're manifesting something, you're manifesting something, right? 
There could be this play from Malaya and it could involve legalities. So let's see what this thing is saying over here. You know, in the center of the spread, you got this Prince of Cups, which could be you, male or female, and the world, which is success. So manifest your success. Now, you got this fear and anxiety. You know, you're halfway in, halfway out. You got one foot in the door on that. And, you know, with the Six of Wands, there is victory in, victory in public recognition. We'll say it. And the Eight of Pentacles is, you know, working hard. So we need two more cards for Scorpio. Let's, let's help get them off that fence. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. Come on, give it to me. Mink. Okay. I'm being told to take that. Queen of Wands. This is the Fire Queen. This is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is a stern, organized, no-nonsense, take-no-bullshit energy. She'll just as soon look at you as stick the fork in your head, right? So, you know, there could be an Aries around you. But be careful. Okay, and then you got the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, this is financial security. So, they, you know, so it could have something to do with your financial security. Maybe you're working hard at your financial security, but it's giving you fear and anxiety. But you will be victorious. Maybe you just got to get a little, you know, a little stern, I'm hearing, okay? Get... Sorry if that shook. That's the cat coming to rub up against the stand. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much. Don't forget, everybody, to let your fingers do the walking. It's a snap right here, right now. Hit the dislike button if you have to. Yeah, you heard it right here, right now, right out of my mouth. Next up is Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. I got to get my shuffles in. Hold on. One. Two. And three. Oh, my God, is it hot. Okay, Libra, here we go. Libra, give it to me. Whoa. Spitting it right out of the gate. Princess of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Like I said, you know, it could be somebody younger, but stubborn, responsible, loyal, grounded. Okay, solid. That's solid energy. She's learning how to be the queen of Pentacles, right? It's trustworthy. It's trustworthy energy. So somebody could have, you know, Earth in their chart, or you could be dealing with an actual Earth sign, Libra. Here we go. Or maybe you have Earth in your chart, and that's you, right? You apply temperance. Now, this is a Sagittarian energy. This is somebody who's tempering their emotions, biting their tongue, turning their cheek, not losing their top, not indulging. And even when people are poking at you, just like kind of laughing in their face and walking away. Not giving them a reaction. Why am I only? Because you got burdens. There's burdens around you, all right? Either you're loaded down with them or somebody else is. But you know what I say about these burdens? Half of them don't belong to you. Give them back to whoever they belong to. Nobody needs that many burdens. You always have time to pick up burdens on your way, right? Maybe you're tempering your emotion because of these burdens, right? Mink. Okay, so now we have the Ace of Wands. So this is success and passion in the situation. You might have feeling a little lost in hardship about it. And you got the Three of Cups. So this is, you know, this is celebration, friendship, you know, going out, having a good time, relaxing, just wanting to be around people. So maybe you feel like you want to be around some people. Show me the Libra, please, and thank you. Okay, that's really good. We have... The Six of Pentacles. So there is stability in the picture, and you're going to have to make a choice. You got the Nine of Cups. This is success. So you will be successful in the situation. Now we got this King of Pentacles. This is the money man, right? This is somebody who's financially balanced, patient, you know, emotionally stable, you know. So that's a good thing, right? Give it to me. Two more, please, and thank you. Okay, we got the Four of Cups. Do not be nostalgic. Somebody sitting in their head, all right, with this nostalgic. Why does this card keep coming out tonight? One more, please, and thank you. Okay, that one. <clears throat> Three of Swords. Okay, well, you know, you could have had an emotionally painful situation. You're going to find out an emotionally painful situation. I can't tell everybody enough how much I hate this freaking card, right? So this could be a third-party situation. Maybe that's what you're feeling, you know, what, the stagnancy over. But snap out of it. Put it behind you and move forward. Don't let anybody waste your time, okay? And this says more about the person that did this to you than you. So there you go. Thank you, Libra. Till tomorrow, love and light. Next up is Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Clear and ground my energy, please. Thank you. Here we go. Clear and ground. Okay. 
too. Okay, Virgo. Thank you. Virgo. Show me what Virgo needs to see. Whoa. Okay, we're going to take him. So, Six of Pentacles. There is stability. There is, you know, maybe you're feeling like you want to go out and hang out with some friends, relax. Uh, the Three of Cups is for celebration and friendship. You got to be, use your intuition. Use your intuition in a situation. This is a Gemini energy. Now you got the death. This is, you know, um, this is a Scorpio energy. This is change and transformation. It doesn't mean that anybody's actually passing around away around you. Although that could be, and if so, my deepest condolences and hugs. But this is changing a situation and transformation, okay? So something's going to change and transform in your life. You got this Princess of Cups here. This is a loving energy. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It's like the big sister. You know, she's warm. She's friendly. Um, trustworthy, okay? Now you got this Queen of Swords. So this is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the thinking queen, right? This queen is, you know... Yeah, this queen is, you know, she's logical, she's straightforward, she's efficient, she's smart, okay? And, uh, you know, yeah. Okay, this is, oh, I don't want to say that. Oh, my God, why do I got to say that? Because now you got the five of pentacles, which is lost in hearts. All right, people, oh, God. All right, look, some of you might be losing somebody, okay, Virgo? Because that... <sighs> That the Queen of Swords came in here and next to the loss and hardship right after the death. You know, the Queen of Swords could be also somebody who's widowed or somebody who's in mourning or separation. And, you know, so you could see, like, maybe that's her lover back there and she's, you know. So, yeah, I don't usually use those narratives when I explain because I like to keep everything on a high vibration. But death and transformation and then the widow card with the loss and hardship, you know. Uh, now, that could be male or female. So, if that's the case... People, you know, big hugs, big hugs. And my hair standing up on my arm and my nose is starting to itch on my own. So, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is not turning in somebody's favor. That's a Sagittarian energy. And, uh, you know, you got this Five of Cups here, which is, you know, yeah, uh, you know, there could be some family returning. See, I see, this is why I'm saying somebody could be losing something because, you know, this is coming out of loss and, uh, yeah. This is coming out of loss and sadness, but it's in reverse. And when it's in reverse, the, the reading usually is, you know, with the five of cups that, you, you know, you, there could be an inheritance. There could also be, you know, family returning. So maybe, you know, yeah. Well, you take it for what it's worth. I hope not, though. Uh, I don't try to read the cards like that because I try to keep it positive, but it is what it is. Okay, so now you got the Leo card. So there is... You know, going to be illumination in a situation. I'm not hearing happiness. Why? Wow. Okay, I'm hearing illumination in a situation. So whatever this is, and there's going to be completion. See, now, the sun card is also completion. So, you know, completion. The ending, you know. So, yeah. This is a Leo energy. Oh, my God. Why am I getting such a, like, uh, I feel like, uh, I don't like this. All right, Virgo, let's see. Now you got the princess of pentacles. So this princess, you know, this is, this is, you know, she's a business. She's like going to college this one to learn how to be, you know, a business person. She, she is organized. She's stubborn, responsible, loyal, you know, grounded and usually a quiet person. So there you go. I don't even want to go over this again, but we're going to have to. So you got the stability and you got, you know, maybe you're going to be around some friends. You want to go out and hang out with some friends. This is, you know, yeah. This is um, friendship and celebration. But now you got this, you know, intuition card here. So, you know, you got to be using your intuition. And now you got this death card here, which is changing and transformation. So, uh, yeah. Then you have, you know, this princess of cups. Like, she's the big sister, a warm, loving energy, right? And the queen of swords. This is somebody who's thinking, straightforward, a doer. Uh, you know, she doesn't take no shit. She, she's brave. She's got skill and wrath, okay? But she could also be a widow, and she could be, you know, this could be an inheritance. It could be. Then you got the five of pentacles here. This is, you know, loss and hardship. But you have the ace of wands, which is success. You know, there will be success coming out of this somewhere. The wheel of fortune is not turning in somebody's favor. And this five of cups, you know, that, yeah, it's five of cups. It's in reverse. It's, you know, 
it could be family returning. I'm getting that that energy. There could be family returning. So maybe, you know. And with this, I'm hearing illumination. This Leo card. So usually the sun is completion and ultimate happiness. But I'm hearing illumination clearly, okay? And with the way that sun looks, yep, that's what I'm seeing. Now you got this princess of pentacles, which is, you know, somebody who's learning how to um, handle their money better and be a business person. So, yeah. Please, you know, big hugs to all of you. Love and light. And let me know how things go, okay? Next up is Leo. Really clear and ground my energy, please, and thank you. Clear and ground. Yeah. Oh, my nose is itching. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Clear and ground. Leo. Show me Leo. Hey, Dilly. Leo, Leo, Leo. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. One more. One more for Leo. Here we go. Show me Leo, please. What does Leo need to see for that higher card? Show me. Whoa. Right, Leo, we got to take him. You got denied the pentacles. So there is success in some situation around you, okay? And a breakthrough. Success and a breakthrough. You're going to be learning how to do something different. Maybe hanging out with some friends, you know, relaxing. You need to be around some friends, celebrating, you know, that celebration of friendship. Use your intuition on this. There is a Capricorn energy around you, okay? This is death and transformation. So something's transforming in your life. Something's ending and transforming. Oh, here we go. My nose. Okay, give it to me. Show me. Show me what Leo needs to see for their higher good. Okay, nine of wands. <clears throat> persevering. You will be persevering through a situation here. And, you know, you might have to take a time out, pause, reflect. This is looking at things from a different point of view, okay? Now, you have temperance. This is a Sagittarius card. This is biting your tongue, turning your cheek, not indulging in the bullshit, you know. Not losing your top, right? Flying off the handle. Don't do none of that, Leo. Nobody needs a mad Leo around, right? Eight of swords. So now this is, you know, overthinking. You're definitely overthinking something. Whatever this breakthrough was that made a transform it, that's going to make a transformation in an end, depending where you are on the timeline, you're definitely overthinking it. Okay. Two more for Leo, please. Okay, you have... Two of Cups, so an offer of emotion, and it's reciprocatory. Whatever this offer of emotion is, whether it's coming into you or you're giving it out, it will be reciprocated. One more. Okay, well, you got the star. That's beauty, inspiration, you know, prosperity, illumination from the divine. Also, vulnerability. Maybe some of you have to get a little vulnerable. And also, you got the Eight of Pentacles, and this is something you will be working hard at. So again, success, a breakthrough. Learning how to do something different, you know, maybe relaxing, hanging out with some friends, you know, using your intuition. There's an ending and a transformation that you will persevere through, but you're going to have to take a pause and maybe look at it from a different point of view and temper your emotions. This is Sagittarius. Now, stop overthinking. There is an offer on the table. It will be reciprocatory. It's going to be illuminated, prosperous, beautiful, and brilliant, and you will be working hard at it. So there you go, Leo. Good luck. That's a nice reading. Next up is Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Hi, Cancer. How are you guys? Clear and grab my energy, please. Don't forget, people, let your finger do the walking. Okay? We weren't raised in caves. Be polite. If you can't hit the like button, that's all right. I can take it. You heard it right out of my mouth. Hit the dislike button. Get your energy out there. Here we go, Cancer. Clear and ground. Clear and ground. Thank you. <clears throat> Two. Oh, that, was, that was a total disaster, right? That was a total disaster, that shuffle. I'm hearing to shuffle again. Here we go. Okay, Cancer, here we go. Show me what Cancer needs to see, please, and thank you. Okay, well, wow. All right, here we go. You have the chariot. This is your card, Cancer. You're coming into your reading right off the giddy app, all right? This is quickly move, moving, just moving. This is fast movement. And justice. There will be a breakthrough in the situation. Now you got the queen of swords. This is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a very intelligent, you know, logical person, okay? This is somebody who's efficient, smart, and organized. You got the ace of pentacles. 
that's really good. That's a new beginning, right? We got this princess of swords. So this is somebody who's learning how to be the queen of swords. You know, she's pretty solid. She could be, you know, it's a very fast moving energy. So she could be in and out, you know, maybe not very committal, but a uh, doer, efficient, you know, trying to learn. Now you got the two of wands. This is something that will inspire you. Okay, now you got the Prince of Wands. This is the player from Malaya, right? This is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's a younger energy. It's a very fast, forward-moving energy. This is somebody who's, you know, already looking at whose boots they're going to put their bed under before they even, uh, you know, take their feet off of yours. I don't know why they keep hearing that. Then you got this Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. Two of Pentacles, which is, you know, weighing your options and in need of balance. I need three more for this. Three more for Cancer, please, and thank you. Three more for cancer, please, and thank you. Three more for cancer. Come on, give it to me. Mink. You're right there, Del. You're barking at the cat. With no voice that you have. Huh? Look at that face. Look at that face, Delilah. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Right. Oh, dilly dilly. Come on already, my own and me. Yeah, this one. There's going to be a choice that you're making. Maybe that's why you need to balance and weigh your options. Can I have two more for cancer, please? Spit them out. I don't... Spit them out. Spit them out. Let's go. Two more. Ancestors, give me two more for cancer, please, and thank you. Okay, so we have the three of pentacles. That's apprenticeship. We all have to start somewhere, so you're going to be learning how to do something new and different. Maybe it'll have something to do with this choice that you're making. Uh, there could be some legal issues involved, any traditionalism, marriage, uh, you know, religion, schooling, the Pope, the judge, you know, like that. And this is a Leo card, the sun. This is, you know, completion, ultimate happiness. This is, you know, this is beauty and this is, yeah, illumination. Okay, so Cancer, you're coming into your reading. This is the chariot, moving fast. This is like the fastest card in the deck, right? This is, you know, fast forward movement, or some of you could be traveling too, I'm hearing now. Now listen, you got this justice card, so there will be fairness and balance in a situation. There could be a Libra involved. You got this queen of swords. This is air energy. This is a thinker, an organized person. This is, you know, somebody who's efficient, smart, um, and thinks before they speak. You got this ace of pentacles, so this is a new beginning. Princess of swords, somebody who's learning how to get their shit together to become the queen of swords, all right? She's, you know, but she's, she could be, you know, flighty. I'm hearing flighty. Two of Wands. You could be inspired about something today, okay? You got the Prince of Wands. This is the player from Malaya, so be careful of him. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. That's him or her, by the way. You know, Two of Pentacles here is weighing your options. You need a balance because you're going to have to make a choice about learning how to do something different. That, you know, there could be legalities involved or religion or something like that in marriage. And there is, you know, happiness and... Uh, completion and all that okay so thank you so much cancer till tomorrow you know delilah's hot in here right my gosh my gosh my gosh Dilly Dilly. look at that little face look at that little face people i melt like butter okay so here we go what's up next gemini 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 hi gemini how are you clear and ground my energy please clear and ground thank you one So, well, Delilah's back to normal. She was getting a little skittish of the cards because she got hit in the face for one last week. But that's not even bothering her. Three, see? She don't care. All right, there we go. Gemini. Show me what Gemini needs to see, please, and thank you. Give it to me for Gemini. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 That was like half a day. I'm hearing, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. I don't know where that's coming from, but okay. He didn't love you. Oh, there's a tower. There's a shock, a surprise. This is, you know, what do I tell you people all the time? Spirit coming in to give somebody a kick in the ass, right? So that's a Scorpio energy. You got this queen of swords here. This is, you know, the thinker. She's, you know, logical, efficient, smart. Okay. Oh, yeah. Show me. Solves problems, right? And we got the king of pentacles. So maybe you guys are thinking about your money. This is somebody who's got financial security. It's a solid, stable person who's, you know, uh, very level-headed and efficient, I'm hearing. I don't know. 
Here, two of pentacles. Now you have, you know, weighing your options and a need of balance. There is a five of wands around you, which is conflict. That's a Leo card. You have a two of wands too, though, but you could be inspired by something. There is some fast forward information coming in. Texts, phone calls, letters, whatever. But also this is moving very fast out of a situation because this guy's catapulting or into a new situation. So there is that around you today. Okay, you might have to take a time out, weigh your options, and look at things from a different point of view. Now you have the sun. This is a Leo card. This is completion and ultimate happiness. Show me. You got the six of wands, victory and public recognition. I don't know about the public recognition, people. I tell you that all the time, all right? But, you know, it doesn't mean that you're going to be, you know, famous. It just means that, you know, people will see you in the light of having victoriously did something, overcame something, achieved something, whatever it is. Two more. Two more for Gemini, please, and thank you. I'm almost done, though. Okay, here we go. This one's popping out. The Hermit. This is a Virgo energy now. So some of you might be having to take a time out and seek your own inner wisdom. Shine your own light in the situation. Do what's best for you, I'm hearing. It's a Virgo energy in case I didn't say that. If you do what's best for you, you got a Six of Pentacles, which, you know, that's stability. So you, there was a tower coming in, good, bad, or indifferent. Get a kick in the ass. This is a shock, a surprise. This is somebody thinking very logically. She's a deficient person. This is, you know... And a thinking energy. This is the king of pentacles. This is a very, you know, hardworking, stable, emotionally balanced, you know, yeah, businessman. This one's got the bag secured. So, but you're going to be weighing your options and in need of balance. Now you've got this five of wands, which is a Leo card. There could be some conflict around you, but you might find that inspiring. And this is fast forward movement in or out of a situation or some fast incoming information that you don't see coming. Maybe with this tower. Now you got weighing your options, you know, and need a balance. Oh, no, that's the two of pentacles. But this is also that. And this is, you know, looking at things from a different perspective. So you're weighing your options, and you're like looking at things from a different perspective, taking a time out there. Things will be illuminated, okay? You got the sun. This is happiness and completion. You will be victorious. You got the hermit, which is, you know, going inside, lighting your own light. You know, uh, what am I hearing? That song by Frank Sinatra. I'm not that old. Mink. Um, I did it my way. Now, that's just crazy, okay, people? Here you go. You got the Six of Pentacles, which is, you know, stability. Oh, my God. I channeled Frank Sinatra. Mink. I'm not that old. I mean, I'm old, but I'm not that old. Wow. Cray, cray. Cray, cray, Delilah. Okay. There you go, Gemini. Thank you. Love and light. Please, if you can't hit the like button, hit the dislike button. I don't know. Here we go. Taurus next. Clear and ground my energy, please. Mine on to me. I did it my way. I guess. Do it your way. Gemini or Taurus. Do it your way, right? Do what's best for you. Wow. First time I've ever channeled Frank Sinatra. That's mind-blowing. <clears throat> Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Here we go. And I'm hearing horns outside. Show me what Taurus needs to see, please, and thank you. What does Taurus need to see? Oh, my God. I mean, that seems like too many cards, right? I mean, yeah, I think so. Okay, so listen. You got a Cancer Energy to start you off right at the Giddy App over here. All right? This is, you know, things you don't know. Things that are in the dark. There could be lies. There could be secrets. There could be, you know, nefarious bullshit going on behind your back. Be careful of that. All right, Taurus? Now you got the Two of Cups. A reciprocated offer of emotion. So in going or outgoing, it's going to be mutual. Tell me what else. Now you got the Nine of Wands. You will be persevering through a situation in your life right now. And you got the Six of Cups, which is, you know, nostalgic. So you could be feeling a little nostalgic. Oh. Okay. Show me. Come on, give it to me. You're going to be detaching from something, okay? You're going to be detaching from something. Here we go. Uh, three of Wands. This is going to put you at crossroads. You're going to feel a little lost in sadness over this. That was the Burdens card, by the way. But it didn't fall out and I didn't see it flip. So we only take flippers when I see them actually flip. Show me Taurus, please. Oh, Delilah's going down for the count. She's about had it. 
Are you uncomfortable, baby? Come on, show me Taurus. Give it to me. Please and thank you. Could I have cards for Taurus? Okay, now we got them. Here we go. All right. So now you got a nine of cups. You will be successful in a situation. All right. There is success in some kind of a situation, whether it's getting over this loss and hardship, you know, detaching from something that's, you know, not really in your best interest, I'm hearing. Not really in your best interest. Okay, what else? I need four more, please. Okay, here we go. You got the world. There will be success and completion in, in something in your life. You got this Queen of Cups energy around you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the mom of the queens, right? This is a warm, loving energy. This is an honest, supported, devoted person. Fair, balanced, you know. Yeah, so that's really good. And then you got judgment. So judgment is a breakthrough. There will be a breakthrough in a situation. Okay, maybe something you're persevering through. I don't know. Detaching from... Putting that chorus road, you're gonna be successful. You got success and success coming in, okay? With the Queen of Cups and a breakthrough. Let's see, one more. One more. Okay, oh, I almost flipped. Okay, this one did. Okay, this could involve a marriage. This is anything traditional. Oh, my nose is itching. This is um, yep, there it goes. Oh, there's the hair. Um, you can have um, you know, this could be a pope, this could be a judge, this could be, you know, a sheriff, this could be, but this person like obviously sees what's going on. So there is oh god, the nose is itching. Okay, so look. There's a cancer or a cancer archetype around you. Sex. I mean, sex. <laughs> wow. I don't know where that came from, but yeah, maybe it does have something to do with sex. I don't know because there is an offer of emotion here. But this is secrets, lies, manipulations, you know, so be careful of that. There is an offer of emotion. It's reciprocated. It doesn't have to be love. It could be friendship or just, you know, yeah. Then you're going to have to persevere through some kind of thing. You know, you got the six of cups, which is nostalgic. You could be nostalgic about something. Maybe that's what you're persevering through, but you're going to have to detach from something. You're going to have to, yeah. Yeah, because of these secrets up here. Look at this. And then you got the three of wands. You know, this is crossroads. This is going to put you at crossroads and you're going to feel lost in sadness, but you will be successful at this because you got success and then the world is success. And then you got this Queen of Cups, a very loving energy around you. Okay, this is the mom of the bunch. This is somebody who's devoted, like I said, you know. And there will be a breakthrough. And then you got, you know, whatever legalities that are involved with that, or traditionalism, or church, or anything like that. All right, Taurus, so good luck with that. Love and light until tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, Aries, last but not least, Aries. Clear and ground my energy for Aries, please. Don't forget, you can let your finger do the walking. It's a snap. Okay, here we go. Aries, Aries, Aries. Please and thank you. One. Two. Holy trifecta. Three. Right, Dilly Dilly? Here we go. Three. Aries. Show me Aries, please, and thank you. God and goddesses and what you got this king of cups coming in sideways. So this is somebody who's not completely emotionally balanced or unbalanced. They're kind of, you know what, we're going to turn it up right for you guys. We want positivity. Uh, so, you know, this is somebody who's usually fair, usually balanced. You know, this is the daddy of the kings. Who's your daddy? This is your daddy. So he's like on the shelf for whether or not he wants to be feeling like a daddy. Like this, in the position that it came in, this could be somebody who's... Um, clingy, somebody who likes a lot of attention, and somebody who, you know, like, doesn't like to be by themselves. They like, you know, to always have somebody with them. They have a name for that. I don't know what it's called. It's not my situation. But, um, yeah. So, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Now, you got the Emperor. Now you got an Aries, okay? This is, he is the king, not the king, he's the emperor, but he's all four kings in one, okay? And he's fully abundant. His his world is beautiful and everybody in it is very happy. So the emperor, you know, this is full abundance. This is power. This is a powerful person. Okay, that's an Aries. Well, now let's see. What else? What else you have here? Give it to me for Aries. You came right into your own reading, all right? So maybe, you know, if you, if you have water in your chart right here, I'm here, maybe you're not, you know... You're not sure how you're feeling about, you know, being loving and warm. You kind of like, you know, you could be, you could be going cold. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. You could be going cold, right? But you are all power here. You are. You're in your power. This is what I'm hearing. Give me. Show me what's going on over here. Show me. Give me. Give me cards. Let me see. Please and thank you. Okay. Ace of Wands. So this is success and passion. 
Now you got this princess of wands. This is, you know, fire princess. This is somebody who's, you know, she's stern. She's no nonsense. She's younger. You know, she could be a player. Um, you know, she's not like a solid long-term energy. The wheel of fortune's turning in your favor, Aries. That's so good. And, you know, got this eight of pentacles here. You will be working hard at something. You got the six of cups. Please don't be nostalgic. Snap out of it, Aries. Snap out of it. Nobody needs to be nostalgic. You got a prince of cups around you. So this is, could be a younger energy. This is, you know, the big brother. He's warm. He's friendly. He's got a good demeanor, you know. So it's pretty innocent, but not so. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a page. All right. Let's see what else we got. I didn't see any pages in this whole movie. This is crazy. Show me. Now you got the Prince of Pentacles. Okay, well, this prince is the best prince in the bunch, as far as I'm concerned. This is Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Why is he the best prince? Because he's loyal, he's responsible, you know, he's well-prepared, he's trying, he's confident, and he's organized. He's trying to learn how to be the King of Pentacles, and he's taking it very seriously. So this could be somebody who's, you know, working on um, their financial security as well. Okay, now you got the Five of Wands in reverse. So this is, you know, conflict, but it's in reverse, so you're coming out of conflict. There is no more conflict around you. This is a Leo card. So if you were like, you know, at odds with anybody, uh, you know, it's resolved. I'm hearing it's resolved. It's over. There's no, uh, yeah. Two more for Aries, please and thank you. Two more. Aries needs two more. Oh, no, two more. Oh, my own. Okay. So, you know, maybe you're coming out of conflict. Maybe there was some emotional pain in this freaking card. I hate this card. If I could take it out of the deck, I would. Um, there could have been a third party situation, you know, that had something to do with this. Um, so, you know, be careful of that. Maybe that's what you're feeling nostalgic over. One more for Aries, please, and thank you. Let's go. Let's go. One more for Aries. Clear the ground. Give me one more for Aries. There it is. There it is. Okay, you got two more. So you got the Four of Wands. This is an Aries card. This is stability. So there is stability. You know, whatever the situation is, maybe because you're not in conflict anymore and you will have to make a choice. All right, so here we go. Who's your daddy? He's your daddy. He's just not sure if he's feeling it, right? He's on the, he's on the fence. You're coming into your own energy. You're all powerful, I'm hearing. Uh, you got the Ace of Wands, which is success and passion. You're feeling successful, maybe passionate about something. You got this Princess of Wands. So you're thinking, you could only be thinking about yourself right now, but hey, that's okay. You got the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor, that you will be, you know, working hard at something. Just don't be nostalgic. Now you got this Prince of Cups. You know, this is a younger energy, like I told you, warm, mysterious, friendly. You could have somebody come and task you out on a date. Then you got, you know, somebody who's working on their uh, financial security here. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. You're out of conflict with whoever you were in conflict with. There could have been a third-party situation or there is some emotional pain somewhere for you. But you are stable and you're going to have to make a choice. All right, so on that note, always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. And trust in God because karma is real. Don't forget, hit a button on your way out. Thank you so much, people. We will see you tomorrow. And little dilly dilly right here with the ears. Says bye. See you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.